Good day viewers, you are welcome. How do you solve these functional equations? f of a plus x minus f of a minus x equals 4ax. Here, for all x and a, both are members of real number. And we are trying to provide what will be f of x. So this is a very simple functional equation problem and let's solve this step by step and consider the solution from here suppose you have a plus x if i let x to be equals zero i want to derive if this equation exists at x equals zero here we have f of a plus zero minus f of a minus zero this equals four multiplied by a multiplied by zero and with this we have f of a minus f of a this equals zero so this equation has no information that we need so we are going to neglect letting x equals zero nothing that we derive from here what if I let a equals to 0 instead of x equals 0? So considering a equals to 0, we are going to have f of x minus f of minus x. This equals, um, we have this as 0 as well. So from this, we have f of x equals minus uh we have f of minus x so from here a function f of x equals minus f of x showing that this is even function that is the f is even then again if i let x to be equals to a let's say x equals a or any of the two we can still let x equals minus a this works for both for the first one at x equals to a anywhere i see x i will be replacing it by a and here we have f of a plus a minus f of a minus a this equals 4a squared and here we have f of 2a minus f of 0. This equals 4a squared. So making f of 2a here, we are going to have to make it the subject and transferring f of 0 to other side. So here we have f of 2a equals f of 0 plus 4a squared. And similarly, if we test for at x equals minus 1, I tell you we get the same thing. So we can just try and check for this by just substituting every single x with minus a. We get exactly f of 2a equals f of 0 plus 4a squared. Now that I have f of 2a equals f of 0 plus 4a squared, so I'm trying to get f of x, but this is f of 2a. Suppose I change this every single a to x. Since x equals to a, then a also equals x. So we get f of 2x equals f of 0 plus 4x squared. But I want to get x direct. If I let this 2a to be equals another letter, if I choose letter t, Assume I let this 2a to be equals t or simply t equals 2 divided by a. So we are going to have uh, t equals 2a rather. Then we have a here equals t divided by 2. Then we replace it as we have f of t equals f of 0 minus 
this gives us 4 into bracket of t squared over 4 because of this square here. So 4 cancelled 4. And we have our f of t here. So which will give us. So we have f of t equals f of 0 plus a. Uh, we have t squared. Then let's change this f of 0 is a constant value to c and we change f of t to x. So here we have f of x equals a constant value plus x squared. So this is what we get for f of c. But let's try and verify if this equals to 4ac before we can consider if this is the only solution to this problem. So from here, if I try to check that if you have f of a plus x, so this equals c plus a plus x squared. And also for f of a minus x, we have c, uh, we have c plus a minus x all squared. Then looking at this, if we try to expand, we try to expand this, so we see that both of these equals zero. So for this one only we have c plus a squared plus 2ax plus x squared. So this is what we have for this. And the other part will be negative. So we have negative c, then negative, all this will come in the negative side. So which is a squared plus 2ax minus x squared. So because of negative in the problem, in the given question. So x squared cancelled x squared. And we have this cancel this, c cancel this. We only have 2ax plus 2ax. And this gives us 4ax. That is, f of x equals c plus x squared is the solution to this problem. But is this the only solution that we have? Let's try and verify that quickly. So from the answer we got, if I let g of t to be equals f of t minus t squared. So here, we make f of t the subject and this equals g of t plus t squared. We don't know if t is constant yet or not, but initially we have something like f of 0 and which we later call it c. We want to verify that that is the only solution. Then let's replace this. If I change this to f of uh, a plus x, so we are going to have this as, uh, let's subtract it, minus f of a minus x. So this will be equals, so here, which is t squared, it takes a plus x all squared, and we are going to have to change this t to a plus x as well. So here we have the g of a plus x and uh, let me just use okay a plus x then we have plus a plus x all squared and also we have minus here we are going to have open bracket g of a minus x then we have plus a minus x all squared. Everything equals 4ax. So with what we have here, we have some values cancelled each other. So we only have g of ax left, g of a plus x, then minus g of a minus x. So this is what we are going to have left. Everything here equals 0. So showing that for every g of a plus x, this equals g of a minus x. But can we still conclude that 
since g of a plus x equals to this so we call both of them a constant no suppose i let this one to be u i let this one to be v so meaning that we have g of u equals g of v all right but a plus x now is equals u and uh, a minus x equals v so if we try to make a the subject of the formula here we are going to have uh we are going to have u minus u minus x and also making x here we are going to have a minus v then if we try to add these two equations together and uh, we also subtract it so adding and subtract we have a equals u plus v over 2 and here we are going to have x equals u minus v divided by 2 so looking at this these two equations are constant because for every u here and v here both of them they are real so they are constant number so which means that g of u equals to g of v are also constant the only solution that we have for this problem is f of x equals c plus x squared thanks for watching and see you in the next video never stop learning bye bye